What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are away to Felix Stowe and Walter United in the Ismin League North Division. I am buzzing for the trip to Felix Stowe, and it's going to be a fantastic day out for a superb Whitton Town away day. We're feeling the buzz and excited for a brilliant Whitton Town away day and this will be a huge game for Whitton Town because their team, Felix Stowe and Walter United, are third in the league, which they're pushing for the title, but a lowest off town win would win them the title if we make sure we get a draw or win against Felix Stowe, Walter United, but... We're mainly going to focus on ourselves to make sure we get a win away at Felix Stone and Walter United to make sure we stay in 13th in the league, which we're currently 13th in the league, but a Whitton Town win will keep us into 13th in the league. It's going to be a tough place to come because their fan base is huge, so it's, so it's not going to be easy, but I am really confident that Whitton Town... We'll put out a really good show for our Whitton Town supporters when we, when we make the trip. And I'm really looking forward to this. And I am feeling really confident that the Whitton Town players will put on a really good show for our Whitton Town supporters, especially if that make the trip, which we're looking forward to it. And um, it's going to be huge, but I am really excited for this. For a fantastic Whitton Town away day. And we always enjoy the Whitton Town away day. Win, lose or draw. But I am really confident that Whitton Town will put something out of it. Will get something out of it. Away at Felix Stone Walter United. As long as the Whitton Town players, like I said, put on 100% effort away to Felix Stone and Walter United to put on a really good show for our supporters. And now, I'm about to put my way to get the train via Ipswich and then get the bus from Ipswich to Felix Stowe for the Whitton Town away match to Felix Stowe and Walter United very shortly. I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club for a bit of breakfast club before I make my way to Whitton Station before getting the train via Ipswich and then getting the bus into Felixstowe. And to have a bit of breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club to fill me boots for the journey. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the superb Whitton Town away day to uh, Felix Star, I'm really looking forward to it, I'm, I'm excited and um, three league games to go now and we're buzzing for this afternoon in the remaining three league matches and we've got our like singing voices to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball as always and while I'm on my way, I'm going to talk about the best moments and worst moments in my 18 and a half years as a Whitton Town supporter. My best ever moment as a Whitton Town supporter has to be the 3-0 win against Harlow Town in the Ryman League Division 1 North Playoff Final when we won promotion to the Ryman Premier Division for the first time ever in the club's history in the Ryman Premier Division in Gary Kimball's first full term so yeah that's that's my best moment of all time as a Whitton Town supporter is promoted to the Ryman Premier Division for the first time ever in the club's history in our 3-0 win against Harlow Town in May 2014 in Gary Kimball's first full term the worst ever moment as a Whitton Town supporter has to be the one away at Grays Athletic last season in our 7-1 defeat and um so yeah that's 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 my that's my best moments of all time and worst moments of all time as a Whitton Town supporter 
But let's focus on this season to try and get as high as possible in the league, to try and finish mid-table. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. And the most important thing is, enjoy the day. I'm currently now arrived at the Whittam Town Football Club for a bit of breakfast club and I've got the usual full English breakfast to fill me boots already for the Whittam Town away day, especially for the journey to Felix Stowe before the Whittam Town away match to Felix Stowe and Walter United. And now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast up at the Whitting Town Football Club and the breakfast is absolutely delicious. I really enjoy it. And they do the best breakfast up at the Whitting Town Football Club and I really enjoyed it. And now I'm about to bomb my way to the station before getting the train via Ipswich and then getting the bus into Felixstowe very shortly. I'm now arrived at the station waiting to board the train to be on my way to Ipswich and then stopping for a bite to eat at Ipswich before getting the bus into Felixstowe for the Whitton Town away match to Felixstowe and Walter United. And we're about to board the train very shortly and be on our way to Ipswich. go here. I'm currently now on the train, just left Whittam station about a couple of minutes ago to be on the way to Ipswich and now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey. I'm currently now arrived in McDonald's for my Whittam Town pre-match meal and I'm having the usual nugget meal and now I'm going to enjoy my meal before we make our way for the Whittam Town away match to Felix Stone Walter United. We're currently now just finished our Whittam Town pre-match meal and we're now just on our way to the bus stop to get the bus from Ipswich into Felix Stowe for the Whittam Town away match to Felix Stone Walter United. I've really enjoyed the pre-match meal and we really enjoyed it. And the first part of the journey went really well. It was really quick on the train from Whitton to Ipswich. And now we're looking forward to the bus journey from Ipswich to Felixstowe for Felixstowe Walter United for our Whitton Town away match. I'm currently now just boarded the bus, just leaving Ipswich to be on my way to Felixstowe for the Whitton Town away match to Felix Stowe and Walter United. Now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey to Felix Stowe. Come on return, come on return, come on return, come on return, come on return. We are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town. One Gary Kimball, there's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball, there's only one Gary Kimball. There's only one Kevin Hunter. There's only one Kevin Hunter. Walking along, singing a song. Walking in the winter wonderland There's only one Jack 
walking along the sea, I saw him walking in the winter wonderland. Olé, 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 olé. Winter town, town, town. Winter town, town, town. Winter town, town, town. Winter town, town, town. Olé. Currently now arrived in Felixstowe and the bus journey went really well and now we're going to make our way to the ground. We're now arrived at Felixstowe and Walsh United for the Whitton Town away match to Felixstowe and Walsh United and here we've got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters Rick and Laura. Hi James. Hi James. Hi guys, did you have a good journey? Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, good. Nice sunshine. Seen a bit weird in the car park. We got cricket. <laughs> <laughs> we won the game. <laughs> cricket pitch on the left. You think, well, where's the ground? <laughs> but yeah, no, fine. Yeah, nice, nice place. Very nice. Yeah, it's yeah. been a really good journey, and got the train up to Ipswich, stopped for a bite to eat, and then got the bus to Felix Star. It's been a really good journey, and we're buzzing for the game, and hopefully we'll get the win. Fingers crossed. It'll be tough, but as long as the players put on a really good show. Yeah, definitely 100%. Like we did at home against Felix Stone Walter United, we beat them 3 2 at home. And if we keep to the same asset like we did at home, and hopefully come away with a win at the weekend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Two chances, two goals. You know, 
they're better against teams like this than you do the teams. Yeah, those teams. teams. 100%. And now we're coming to the score prediction. What's your score prediction, Greg? I'm going, to, I'm going to go for a winner, Dave. I'm going to go 2-1. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm going for a win as well. I'm going for 3-2. Wow, brilliant. Um, I'm going to be optimistic as well. I'm going to sneak a 1-0 win. Oh. That, that doesn't matter, though, does it? It's three points at the end of the exactly, day. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. we're doing. A, a point. Okay? A point of being we, we don't want to lose today. No, you know? no, we don't. We, 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 we um, want the win, obviously. But, you know, the point will be really, really good for us. Especially when you're at the table, right? And you see how much Redbridge are keep creeping up, creeping up, and creeping up. Because I watch the games they play, and I watch the games in, the, in during the week, and they're creeping up and on it. So we need to get some points today, and next week we've got a home game again, you know. Thank you guys so much for your time, and let's hope we get all three points and come on the town. <laughs> come on, come on the town! Come on! I'm now with the another main fellow Whittam Town supporter, Callum. Hello, James. Good, thank you. It's a massive game away at Felix Stone Walt United. It's going to be really tough because they're pushing for the playoff places or even champions, right? It depends on the other results. But we're worried about ourselves for this afternoon and try and get all three points for Whittam Town. And um, we made a fantastic trip and we, we really, really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, um, looking forward to today's game against Vita. Obviously, it's going to be tough. They know that they have to beat us to have any chance of being in, going up as champions. So they know they're going to be up for it because they want to at least try and keep the run going to try and get out. But they've got the playoffs, so that's probably where they're going to end up. They've had a good season, so playoffs is good for, for them. They could go up as playoff in the playoffs as champions because you know they're a good side. Obviously, we beat them earlier on in the season, but it's going to be a tough game. But if the players can perform, then we can easily get something from today's game. Yeah, because uh, we, we, the Wigan Town players got to really put on the show this afternoon. If we want to win, to come away with three points away at Felix Stowe, Walter United. As long as the players put on a brave show for our supporters, but it's a tough place to come here. and. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll come away with three points, hopefully. We've got to be at our best today, <clears throat> so it's going to be tough, but we know we're capable of getting results against the big sides. We've done it before against Haybridge, we've beaten Felix at home, so we can easily go out and win this game. If we can put in 110%, if the effort is there, we can easily go on and get something from this game. It's not going to be easy, but <clears throat> we can do it. We know we've got the capabilities of doing it, so... Let's just go out and give it our best. Whether we win, whether we lose, as long as we're giving it our all, that's all we ask as fans. The players put 100% in. Exactly 100%. As long as we give our best for that like 100% best for our supporters, like win, lose, or draw, as long as they give us 150%, and as long as we put on a really good performance. And it's like, it is going to be a tough game because they're third and we're 13, but we worry about ourselves. And um, I believe we, we can do it. Yeah, look, I think obviously, yeah, not an easy place to come, that's for sure. So we just got to put, put the effort in, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter whether we win or lose or draw, as long as the players have given it their all, that's all we can ask for as fans. So yeah, looking forward to it, it should be a good game, the atmosphere should be good, and hopefully we can get something out of the game. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Uh, I'm going to. You know, uh, I'll go for 2-2. Two, two. It is a tough game away at Felix, though, and um, I'd have to say a 1-1 one, one draw, but I'd love to see Wigan Town win, but so I. I think it's going to be a draw, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, draw will probably sound, good, sound like a, a good result, so let's hope we can go out and prove us wrong and we can get a win. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Kada, and hopefully we'll come away with all three points of the win. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on, the town. Up the town. Up the town. Come on. I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Paul. Good, thank you. It's a big game for Whitton Town away at Felix Stone Walt United, but if we put on a really good show for our supporters this afternoon against Felix Stone, and you never know, we may even come over with all three points, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, it's going to be a tough test. They're doing so well in the league. A good club, pushing for a promotion, so we're going to have to be at our best. But we know we've got some good players, and if we turn in a good performance, the 
good thing about it is because we've done the hard work this season already, we're not worried about relegation this year. Mm. So anything we get from today's game is a big bonus for us. So yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope we get a good result. Yeah, over the last few seasons, we've been in the relegation dogfight over the last few seasons. And I'm glad we're now in the mid-table position for a change this season because, like, We've been in the relegation dogfight for the last several seasons, but I'm, but I'm glad we're into the mid-table finish like this season, like we're currently 13th in the league. But that's three matches to go now, and we're going to try and win, win as many games as possible to try and get a little slightly higher up in the league, hopefully. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, like you said, a lot of people predicted us to go down this year, and so <laughs> it's good that we come We proved them wrong! Yeah, we have proved them wrong. We proved the doubt as wrong! <laughs> <laughs> so let's hope we get a good, anything we get here today, it's not really times we've come here during the season, we've got any points, so anything we get here today is a bonus. So yeah, let's uh, be another good chance to uh, get, get some points on the board, but anything here is a bonus. Yeah, it'll be a bonus to come away with the three points for Wigan Town, but he, like, like we said, it's a tough place to come here, and because um, they're fighting for the promotion places like the champions or even the playoff places. We're, we're just focused on ourselves to try and get the job done away at Phoenix Stowe and try and come all the way with three points to bring the three points back to Whitton in Whitton. And um, but I believe we can do it as long as the players put on a really good show. Yeah, the pressure's off us today because uh, we're already safe and the pressure's on them. So let's hope it tells uh, and they back up under the pressure and we're all right. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Paul? I think if we're clinical and we do well, I'm going to be confident I'll go on 2 I am going to be really optimistic as well, and um, I got a bit of a muddled up with a score prediction. Because I did say 1 0 win in town, then I decided 1 1, but I am still optimistic. I'm going, I'll sneak 1 0 win in town. We're both confident, two wins are confident. Thank you so much for your time, Paul, and let's hope we get the victory and come all, all the way with three points. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Up the town. Come on, Witten. Come on, Witten. Witten are massive everywhere we go. Witten are massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, one, two, three, four. We turn a massive everywhere we go. We turn a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Come on, we turn. 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 Hello, 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 For William, ah, uh, hey, war Gary Kimble. There's only war Gary Kimble. War Gary Kimble. There's only war Gary. Gee, oh, we are 
Good say, Harry. Go on! Go on! There was a couple of. Go on! Go on, Josh! Go on, Josh! Go on! Go on! Take him on! Put him on there! He don't want it! Don't foul him, he don't Don't foul, don't foul! We are the town, we are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town. We are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town. We are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town. Good, Josh. Who wants it? Who wants it? Don't foul him, Josh. Don't, Don't want it there. Well play, Josh. Unlucky, Josh. We are the wings of town. Whoa, whoa. We are the wings of town. Whoa, whoa. We are the wings of town. Whoa, whoa. Come on! Come on! Well done, Harry. Corner to Phoenix Stowe, Walton United. Are you going to change it? Yeah. Oh, good clearance. Clear! One Gary Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball! 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 Wits of Army! Wits of Army! Wits of Army! Wait of Wait of Wait of We are the wait of town. We are the wait of We are the wait of Wait, sir! Wait, sir! Wait, sir! Clear, don't foul in the box. Don't foul in the box. Well play, Archie! Go on, Wait, Unlucky, Archie! Say how he fares! Corner to Phoenix Stowe, Waltz United. Well covered! Go on! Oh! <laughs> Go on, pressure! The half-time score, Felix Stone and Walter United nil, Whitton Town nil, and here we've got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura, Paul and Callum. Hello mate. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Go home.
guys, it was a fantastic first half from the boys, and um, we could have been one nil up, but we are superb in the first half, and if we play like that in the second half, like we did in the first half, we might come away with all three points. Yeah, I'm really proud of the team and uh, the whole squad because that was a really good performance. Ben and I were third and they're fighting for the, the league title. Uh, we matched them uh, all across the pitch, so uh, we haven't really got much to play for as we said at the beginning of the season. But fair play to the boys, everyone has done really well. Everyone's put a shift in, they've worked, they've closed down, they've hustled, they've carried. And we've looked much a better side, so credit to the boys, so uh, yeah, well done. Man. Yeah, credit to the Wigan Town players for working hard in the first half. And I think it's the best football we've played this season. I, um, Josh had a good chance when the ball was crossed to Chris and could have been 1-0. And Ryan Deer had an outstanding game in the first half. Like, put some brilliant tackles in and um, to stop them from scoring. And um, but we've been superb. Yeah, I just thought we were going to get you know, we kept, we kept fighting, haven't we? Yeah, it was superb and we kept the support going, keep rallying the players to keep going and the management staff and um, we played absolutely superb on, on the pitch and um, like Ryan did an outstanding game and Harry Fares did a great save from that shot from the Felix Stowe player and um, Harry made a brilliant save and as a whole we were superb. The only disappointing thing from that first half is we haven't scored. I think while we're on top we need to get, try and get, get a goal in front because we know that we're going to need to keep it up but we know that we're going to probably tie her out before they feel so because they haven't really offered anything so while we're attacking and dominating the game we need to take take our chances but no it's been a good first half probably one of the best halves we've seen all season and hopefully we can carry this on into the second half because they're there for the taking. Felix though doesn't like they've got the second gear yet don't they? They're still just... I think they're waiting for us to tire yeah. out and then yeah. they'll start then they'll <laughs> bring out the big guns. So while we're on top, we get a goal or two, then hopefully it makes it a lot harder for them to turn it around. But great support in the first half, and yeah, decent, decent game to watch. Bring on the second half. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much for your time, and bring on the second half, and come on the town. Up, 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 up the town, come on! Go on, Chris! Go, on, Chris. Go, on, Go, on, Go on, Chris! Go, on, Chris. Go, on, Chris. Go on! Oh! We are the Witter Town! Whoa! We are the Witter Town! Whoa! Whoa! We are the Witter Town! Whoa! Wait sir! Wait sir! Wait sir! Come on, hey, come on, hey. Hey, come on. Yes, come on! Yes, come on! The referee just sent him off! The referee just sent the number four off! Cheerio! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought I was going in! Could have been 1-0! Oh, still in! Has it been folded, ref? He told him, ref! Josh! 
Come on! This is it! Come on! Go on! Hey! He pushed him! That's gonna be a booking! That's gonna be a booking! Stop moving Good, he should be able to cover that. Yeah. One nil to Felix Stone, Walton United. I don't know how that ball can pick up the top of the first race. Knock it in! Oh! oh. oh. Come on, Brad, shoot that closer! Yes, come on, this is it! Last minute draw, come on! Come on. come on, Kingy! Seven points, boys, earn it! Come on! Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Get in! Run again! Go on! Go on! Oh, you've done too much over the ball, man! Come on, Yellow! Yes! Woo. And again, Kingy! Yes, oh! Keeper's joining in the penalty box. This is it. Come on, Harry McKee, our keeper, joining in the penalty box. Can this be a last minute draw? Full time. Head up, boys. Heads up. We go again. Head up. Well done. Keep your head up. Well done. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up, Kev. Keep your head up. We go again. Head up. We go again. Well done, Harry. Well done, Gary. Tough one, but... Well done, Gary. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. 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 The full time score Felix Stowe and Walter United won. Whitton Town nil. And here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura, Rick, and Callum. Hello, mate. All right, James. Hello, James. <clears throat> Guys, it, it was a tough one to take. We was all over in the second half, and um, and they robbed us right at the end of their goal. And um, but we could have been like one or two up in the second half, and but we were robbed at the end, in my opinion. But sometimes it happens in football, but. It is, it is a tough one to take. Yeah, but well, we've got to be happy that we've we... got to take the positives. Yeah. That, sure oh we? yeah, we take we the positives. We had chances to win the game. Yeah, we did. We lost one 0 It's not the worst result in the world, but I'm just happy that we played for 90 minutes. Yeah, the effort yeah was, we did. The effort was there today, 110 percent. We put the effort in. We couldn't quite get the goal, but you know the players they performed well today. So hopefully they don't get too disheartened and we go again next week. Exactly, Callum. Yeah, they, it, we're not being too disheartened with the defeat, but. Um, we played well, and that's really the main thing now. When he's last, we played games. well, and it was the best performance we've seen for a long time. Even we lost one nil, but I'd say it was a lucky goal for them, in my opinion. But um, credit to them. They and, took their uh, one chance that they had, so can't really do much about that. Definitely we've restricted not, huh? them to a, not many chances at all. So overall, I'm very happy with that. Yes, yeah, same. I'm really happy with the performance, but if we play like we did. Today we should be winning next week and the week after if we play like, like we did today. But like sometimes football can be cruel sometimes. But um, but we got to move on, won't we? I think Gary Kimball summed it up just a minute ago. Oh dear! When like he just said to me and Laura and a few others, we play top three top sides now, right? And if we had a striker or someone to put the ball in the back of there, we'd have beaten. Not today. We had some good chances. You would, have, you would have put your money on Kingy to score that goal, exactly. wouldn't you? Yeah. Exactly. You, and Josh as well, to be yeah. honest. I really need a proper striker to score goals. That's the only thing we really need. Once we get a striker to score goals, we'll start cleaning up the table. Because we didn't get outplayed by these lot today. No, we're here. We didn't, oh, we're no. Here. No, no, they were quite... If you look at the, probably the stats in the first half, we probably played better first half. I know we played well second half, but we had more chances than what they did. You know, they took the one chance to score, and they were quite a physical side as well. But you're going to need a striker well, we to, to put take, the ball. We have to take I the positive. We've got to take the positive. Exactly, Laura. We've got to it's take got, the positive. The game's gone. Yep. Move on. Done Let's get on to the next one. You know, we're at home next week to Grace. We final have to. One of the yeah. Final yeah. one, yeah. league game of the season. We we have to move on, and that's all. That's all we can say. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know, well, well done to the players. Yeah, well because, done. It was a good performance. Because they yeah. had a really a good, good performance. Well. So, yeah, I, I feel really sorry for the players for putting an effort in, but they should do us really proud. They've done us proud. But um, but even we lost one nil. But we know it's frustrating <laughs> to come away with defeat. Even we played really well, and uh, that's all we asked for. We yeah. played well and. And we're happy with the performance, but 100%. sometimes it happens in football. Yeah, sometimes that's the way lucky. football is, isn't it? Sometimes football can be cruel. Cool. Yeah. Sometimes right. you exactly. get what you deserve. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you don't. can be cruel. It's a cruel sport. Yeah, right. we, got, we don't need to hate, we don't need to drop our heads because the last exactly three, the last three games, Brentwood this lot and uh, Lowell Soft last week, that we were never ever in a million years outplayed by none of them three. No way. We could, even when we at Brentwood, we could have scored three or four goals easy. Um, the effort you know, was there, that's the main thing. Exactly. The effort yeah, was there and, yeah. and the, we result, had... the results in, at this stage, you know, we've, we've got nothing to play for. No. I've said it in the, the interview beforehand, all we need to do is go out there and put in a performance. And we've done that in these last couple of games. Mm. Greys and Molden coming up, we can put performances against them, then it's a good end to the season, regardless yeah. of what the results. And we've got the semi-final to look forward to in the Tulsa and Darcy Memorial Cup coming soon. and. And we're hoping to end with a trophy at the end of the season to come away with a trophy. Though, but it's you know, going to be difficult. Chelmsford, you know, look a very good side. So, but we have to get past Clacton first. So I know. Yeah, we got to get. Could happen. We got to get past Clacton, and um, but it will be great for Whitton Town to come away with the season with a trophy. But like you said, Cam, we have got to get past FC Clacton in the semi-final. That's and then not going to be easy. We know that all games are not us, easy. They're in the senior league, aren't they? The same as what Stanway Rovers are. Yeah. So All they, games are so not easy. They're going to be out to beat us, and they want to beat us. You know, so we can't take them lying down. We have got to get up there and get it. A good performance, you know. 
Exactly. We can't write no, teams don't, off. Don't write them off. No way. We can't they'll, write they'll them gunning, off. They'll be gunning for us. I agree because like we can't write teams off and like when he play Essex senior league sides and it's going to be tough. But um, we can't write them off. But we've got to keep putting the performance. Like it's like a cup final. That's all we yeah, like to do. It's their cup final. They're coming to an Isthmian league team and they're in the senior league, which is one above them. So they're going to think, oh hello, we got you know. Thank you guys so much for your time and uh, keep the faith. And um, I know it's a tough one to take, but we move on now and um, yep, we move keep, on. keep the faith and yep. we go again. Come on, town. Keep the faith. Come on, town. Keep the faith. Come on, the town. Yes. Good, thank you. What's your thoughts on the second half? Uh, we played really well. We didn't deserve to come away with nothing. We by far the better team. Just unfortunately today didn't take our chances. Um, but apart from that, we controlled the whole game. And like I say, we thoroughly deserved three points. So. Yeah, we just take that one on the chin and then we go again uh, next week. And But nah, the boys put in a great performance, like he's second in the league. Like I say, we dominated the whole game, just didn't they take our chances. The Wigan Town supporters gave everything to support throughout the whole 90 minutes, but we didn't deserve to lose and um, and their goal was really lucky. But um, but we go again on Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Like I say, we get back in the week, train, train hard and last game at home on uh, Saturday and hopefully we can get three points and finish on a high at home, so yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Kev. Keep your head up and we go again on next Saturday. Cheers, mate. Thanks. I'm currently now on the bus, just left Phoenixstone about 10 minutes ago. I'm be on the way to Ipswich now and um, going with a result. But like we said in our full time thoughts with the main fellow Wing Town supporters, we just got to think of more of the positives that the players gave absolutely everything throughout the whole 90 minutes. And just like Paul said, it's the final third. We've got to keep working on the final third and the final ball. It's just the final ball and the final third we need to work on. But overall, Superb throughout the whole 90 minutes, but um, I'm gutted for the lads for not getting at least a point or even a victory because we have super, superb, we've been absolutely superb throughout the whole 90 minutes, played them off the park, and um, I'm gutted, I'm gutted for the lads at the moment, but. We've got to take more on the positives though. Just like I said in the previous full time thoughts, like just, just afterwards, football is a cruel sport and Rick agreed with me, said I've summed the word up very well, I summed it up perfectly. Football is pretty cruel at times, like to come away with defeat. And some people say, what we deserve, the 1 0 defeat, and the other one said we didn't deserve to lose 1 0. But I had to agree on that that we got what we deserve, the 1 0 defeat. But we look at the positives that we have done superb, and um, but I am really proud for the lads giving a really good effort away at Felix Snow. But um, now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey back to Ipswich before getting the train back home to Whitton. We're currently now just arrived in Ipswich and we're just on our way back to the station to get the train back home to Whitton. And the first journey back on the bus from Felixstowe to Ipswich went very well. And, um, and now we're just on our way back to the station to get the train back home, back to Whitton. So here you go. We're currently now on the train back home to Whitton now, and we just left Ipswich station about five minutes ago. And, um, and I would like to give a massive shout out to our Whitton Town assistant manager, Kevin Hunter, to say a massive, massive thank you for his time for a chat on camera after the game. And um, because like losing 1-0 to Felix Stone, Walter United, it was a heartbreaker. But in my opinion, 
we got what we deserve, but we're going to focus more on the positives. And um, but yeah, like I said, thank you so much, Kevin, for your time for a quick chat on camera about our thoughts on this second half and about the performance away at Felix Stone, Walter United, and. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really gutted for all the Whitton Town players. And, um, but yeah, because sometimes I'm afraid, like I said, it happens in football. And like sometimes, like we've got to dust ourselves and move on to the next game. And um, because sometimes in football, like as supporters, we have to be humble in defeat sometimes. And we've got to sort of like be humble and move on to the next game. And, um, but yeah some of the other fans have different opinions like we didn't deserve to lose 1-0 and then the other one said we deserve to lose 1-0 and um, but but we got what we deserve but but sometimes like we got to take more on the positives about the performance away at Phoenix Stone and Walter United but um, we gave absolutely everything for our Whitton Town supporters to rally the players to keep going and um, but yeah yeah we was really gutted for our players because we as Whitton Town supporters we kept rallying the players to keep going and um, but sometimes in football it wasn't to be and um, like I said we've got to dust ourselves and the most important thing is we really enjoyed the trip despite the result we had a fantastic day out to Felix Stowe and um, it's been a fantastic journey and we really enjoyed the trip and only two more league games to go plus the semi-final to really look forward to against FC Clapton in the semi-final of the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup semi-final match. And I am really positive that I know it's going to be a tough competition in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup semi-final, but um, but I'm I have the full belief for Whitton Town. Like we need to get past FC Clacton in the semi-final, and then um, not if when we get past FC Clacton in the semi-final, and then and then play Chelsea City in the final. But um, I believe. Hope we are, um, I'm hoping for Whitton Town to come away with a trophy, to end the season with a trophy for Whitton Town, but it'll be really tough because like, it depends what Chelmsford's gonna put out, a strong team or a mixture or, or youngsters or weakened team, but it depends, we've just gotta wait and see and um, we've just gotta worry about ourselves, look forward to the remaining matches with three, uh, two more league games to go now, plus the semi-final to really look forward to and um, and also that was the last train trip of the season 23-24 and I can't believe how quick it is this season because we really enjoyed it so much this season but the months will soon fly by until the new season starts again but we have really enjoyed a superb roller coaster season for Whitton Town but like we say we've got two more league games to go plus the semi-final to look forward to and so yeah we've got to keep our heads up dust ourselves the game's done and dusted and now we move on to the next game hope you all enjoy today's Whitton Town FC mm -hmm. match day vlog make mm -hmm. sure you subscribe like comment down below on my YouTube channel James Beardwell Whitton Town's next match is at home to Grays Athletic on Saturday the 20th of April. Keep the faith Whitton Town and keep your heads up.